Hello everyone, my name is Alfred Riflard and let me start off by saying thank you for letting me speak at this meeting about the importance of accreditation. The need for accreditation in today's world of EMS is more critical now than ever before. There are so many benefits that come with having a company that is accredited compared to the other EMS companies that are not. Today, I'm going to discuss the importance of accreditation, go over the steps on how to become accredited, I'm also going to talk about the importance of education and continuing education in EMS. Finally, I will list some of the barriers to becoming accredited and how we can overcome them. What is accreditation and why is it needed in EMS? Why should our company become accredited and how will it benefit us? What are the pros and cons? How hard is it going to be to become accredited and what do we need to do as a company and as a team to finally get accredited? These are all questions that will be answered after my presentation on EMS accreditation. Accreditation is defined by the new Oxford American Dictionary as the action or process of officially recognizing someone as having a particular status or being qualified to perform a particular activity. National accreditation provides for self-review and peer assessment of educational programs to ensure quality and compliance with national guidelines. To become accredited, a program must comply with the accreditation company's guidelines. After completing a formal application, the applying institution completes an extensive self-study. A referee reviews the study, and if it is found to be complete, a site visit is authorized. During the site visit, a program director and a medical director visit the site and verify compliance with the guidelines. If all reports are acceptable, the institution is granted accreditation for a given term. Accreditation signifies that your service has met the gold standard determined by the ambulance industry to be essential in a modern emergency medical service provider. Accreditation is designed to help EMS agencies increase organizational performance and efficiency, increase clinical quality, and decrease risk and liability. Accreditation provides a template for making a comprehensive organization changes that improve the overall performance of the organization. An independent review validates that accredited agencies are adhering to the highest standards in the industry. These standards are often often exceed those established by state or local regulation. This enforces the importance of becoming accredited so that the customer and other companies know they are getting the best of the best when our company is called upon for service. I've already done the homework by reviewing several accreditation companies and I've spent hours evaluating and comparing companies. I found that the Commission on Accreditation of Ambulance Services, the CAAS, would be the accreditation company that will fit our company's needs. We'll need up to set up appointment for the CAAS evaluation department to go over our company's documents, invoices, policies, protocols, and SOGs to make the recommendation on what they will need from us to help us succeed. This will not be an easy task. There are several steps to accreditation, starting with a self-assessment. After we complete our self-assessment, we'll fill out the application to become accredited. Then the CAAS will step up, will set up a lengthy evaluation. After the evaluation, there will be a deliberation by independent and impartial panel of judges. Once that is completed and, we're on our, and we are successful, our services will be recognized for its excellence as defined by the commission's highest standards. It is very time consuming. There will be several barriers for us to overcome. Some of these barriers include the cost. This can become a very costly process, starting from the beginning with application fees to the assessors and deliberator fees. The changes can also become expensive that may be needed to, uh, to become accredited. There's also the time that it takes. According to the CAAS, some smaller companies were able to complete the process in six months, but others, depending on how many changes that are needed and how the size of their company, have taken much longer. We will have to put in several man hours going over all aspects of the company. Some other agencies have also hired an outside consultant to assist with the accreditation process. Also, there will be an annual upkeep of our accredited status, so we will have to stay on top of our CEUs and keep all of our vehicles and equipment to the highest standards. Once this process is completed and we become an accredited company, 
We will operate more efficiently, safer. Our employees will have a higher morale. Being accredited and displaying our accredited rating on our apparatus will have the communities and private companies wanting to use us for their needs over other companies. Being accredited also lowers our insurance costs and will make it easier for grants and funding. In conclusion, becoming an accredited company with the Commission of Accreditation of Ambulance Services, CAAS, our company will be the top tier, much desired company used by many other facilities in our area. Our company will outshine, outproduce, and provide the best customer service around. It may be a rough road and long journey, but it will pay off dividends in the end. This accreditation will put our company at the forefront of EMS services and transport in our community and help us grow and expand into a giant in the industry all over the globe. Thank you.